is Bridget and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am so nervous, but also extremely excited because I got a boa constrictor. Now, if you guys have been here for a little while or you follow me on social medias, you will know just how much boa constrictors mean to me. They are my all time favorite snake of all time. I just said that. Favorite snake of all time, okay, got it. It has been a dream of mine to own a boa constrictor. I've mentioned it before. I've said it here on my channel. I've also said it on my social medias. You guys know that my dream pet of all the pets that anyone could possibly ever have in their entire life, my dream pet of all time is a Suriname red tail boa. And since you have seen the title of this video, I didn't get one of those. No, I did not. I did not get a Suriname red tail boa. However, we did get a boa constrictor, which is not my dream boa, not my dream pet, but that is okay because the boa constrictor is still my all-time favorite snake, and the fact that we have a boa constrictor, finally, our first boa constrictor, I am freaking ecstatic, okay? This is a big deal for me. I still cried the day we got him. Super excited, could not be happier to have him, and I cannot wait to introduce him to you you guys so I'm gonna go get him right now all right you guys I'm here with my little guy he's very nervous because he is not a fan of handling just yet especially by me he seems to really love my husband for some reason now you may be thinking that this guy looks really similar to the Suriname red tail boa and that's because he does they are almost identical in coloration and pattern apart from their tail that's what makes this guy special is that he is a different type of boa constrictor. So you guys know the common red tail boa, which is a boa constrictor constrictor, BCC for short. The Colombian red tail boa, or you know, hypo or anything like that, all the morphs that are out there, they are considered boa constrictor imperator, BCI for short. And this guy right here is actually a boa constrictor amarali, which is BCA for short. Now that is a scientific name, of course, but his common name is a Bolivian short tailed boa. And what that means is that these are essentially the same thing as a standard boa constrictor with pattern and everything else. However, they have a tiny, tiny tail. That is all his tail is. It is the tiniest little tail on earth. It shortens them by about one to two feet when they're adults. These guys really only max out around six feet because of that short tail. They tend to be a little bit more stocky in their body. They're shorter, they look a little chunkier, but that's really the only difference. Hello, you are the cutest. What's also really cool about these guys is that the Bolivian short tail boas have actually become extremely rare, and that's because of their import and ex export change. So in the 1980s, the countries of Bolivia and Brazil actually banned the exportation of these animals to any other country. So then at that point, breeders were no longer able to get their hands on them for any breeding, selling, or just keeping in general. So basically, as far as I know, and I could be completely wrong, any of the Bolivian short-tailed boas that you see being bred are only here in the U.S. and in some parts of Europe. So like all the ones that are now available here in the US have been strictly captive bred and they are descendants of the Joe Terry bloodline. So I mean that's pretty cool. There aren't very many in general and there's really only one or two bloodlines available out there. So these guys are pretty uncommon and I mean that's kind of sad because like these are super cool so I wish that there were more of them available but that's just not the case. So with all that being said because these guys are extremely rare my husband developed a like massive interest in them and when we started looking into them we actually luckily found a breeder in Houston Texas that's only about two and a half hours away from us so we definitely jumped on the chance of getting one of these guys and this breeder I mean he only does it just for the joy of it he doesn't really do it because of profit or anything he truly enjoys the species and he only breeds a handful at a time so it's kind of a big deal little guy was one of those available and we fell in love and had to have him. So now I guess I'll go ahead and tell you guys his name. This guy right here is Bruce. Now I've always wanted an animal named Bruce specifically. Um, kind of silly, but it's 
basically after the shark on <laughs> Finding Nemo. Name's Bruce. You guys know what I'm talking about. I always wanted something, some kind of animal that's like a large animal to be named Bruce. And then because this is more like my husband's snake sort of, he wanted to name a large animal Bruce after Bruce Banner, which is the Hulk. So this guy got the name Bruce based on two kind of large characters there. And it doesn't fit him right now because he is so tiny, but it is definitely going to fit him as he grows and he gets real, real big. So yes, I did not get my BCC Dream Suriname Red Tail Boa Constrictor, but that is okay because boas are my favorite. As I said, I could not be happier to have this guy. I'm so obsessed with him. He is so insanely gorgeous and he's actually been really rewarding to have in the house already. So we are very excited. Don't worry, I'll still get my BCC someday. I promise you guys and when that happens, I can't clickbait you guys anymore. <laughs> so you'll know the instant that it happens. But this is our Bruce, our Bolivian short-tailed boa. And also part of this video, he had been in quarantine for a while and so I just set up his brand new enclosure. So we're gonna go ahead and move him in there today. I'm very, very excited. So yeah, I'm gonna show some more clips of him so you guys can get up close view of what he looks like and how gorgeous he is and how sweet he is and I hope that you guys enjoy. guys that's gonna be it for my video today introducing you guys to our new boa constrictor Bruce hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out I really appreciate it also hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload next and I'll see you in my next video bye